for the. Hey, what are your thoughts on day one? Uh, having JT back in this competition, a lot more, a lot more arms in this competition as well. Yeah, more arms, more competition makes every makes every single one of us better. Uh, it was good getting out there with the guys day one, being out there, throwing catch some balls with the new guys, with the older guys, seeing the young guys uh, step up and uh, want to be good. So it was pretty good first day. What did your off season look like? Just kind of reflecting on last season and, and building towards this year. Yeah, watching a lot of film uh, when when we learned the new offense with Coach Sanford, we went back. And I tried to visualize the plays that he would call, the looks that he would see uh, from last season. So uh, we did a lot of that, uh, a lot of uh, fine tweaking, some mechanical things, lower bodies type stuff, uh, a lot of grinding. It was really fun. What were the main positives you took from last season? Um, uh, some positives was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Towards the end of the season, we showed improvement, started moving the ball. Uh, we're going to see a lot more of that this year. Uh, Coach Sanford's done a great job and made a new offense to everybody. So, uh, it's going to be really fun. You've mentioned Coach Sanford. There's six new assistant coaches on the staff. What in, I know this is your first practice, but you've been around them. What have they given this program, six new assistants? Yeah, they're all exceptional. I've only been around the offensive guys. I mean, some defensive guys, even they're exceptional. But uh, offensive-wise, uh, like we can meet with them, any of the GAs, anybody that's not our coach. They all know the same amount of stuff as our coaches. So it's uh, really good being able to be able to meet with them when our coaching is available. Uh, getting the same teaching, getting the same, they know, talking the same language. So it's been really, really fun being able to be around GAs and stuff that I know the game. Having more time with this offense, how does what Coach Sanford do fit you better? Or do you feel more comfortable in this than, say, a year ago? Or is it just any system would have been more comfortable? Yeah, um, Coach Sanford's system is very, very comfortable for me. Uh, he, he makes sure to call it plays that fit. Our personnel, he's not just calling plays to call plays. He's calling plays off certain looks, getting us in the right situations. So uh, it's really fun being able to watch him do what he does and being able, being able, being up there with him in the meeting rooms, learning in the uh, office, and being, being able to come down here and do it every minute on the field. JT mentioned in spring that it's a very quarterback centers offense that Sanford is building. Yeah. Are you still seeing those same things now that we're in fall? Yeah, for sure. He teaches us everything we need to know. Uh, teaches everything that we need to know to come out here and run the offense by ourselves and uh, feel like he's done a good, pretty good job teaching us that. Is and it then, simpler? Is it, how is it different than, than systems you've run in the past? Too? I wouldn't say simple, but simpler. I would just say he's done an exceptional job breaking it down detail, detail wise, showing us little, little things that we need to know, we need to look at, look for. And uh, I think he does a great job showing all of us that and we do a good job, like I said, bringing it out here on the field. What would you tell 2021 Camp B. Lou now that you didn't know then if you could get in the time machine and flip it back and say, dude, I, you're, you're going to be glad I told you this. Yeah, I would just say relax, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't go out there all jittery. Just relax and just play ball. Just have fun. Brennan, you were the quarterback for this office for 12 games last year. Is there a part of you that you know comes into camp this year and says, this is my team, I mean, this is my job? Or do you look at it and say, I've got to go win it again? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into it like it's my job. Uh, I'm gonna play like I'm the starter every play. Uh, I think that's what we all need to do. So yeah, that's kind of my mindset going into camp and going through camp. Coach was pretty bullish about this team and exceeding expectations when he spoke at the Pac-12 media days. Um, I'm assuming that's the players feel the same way. But when you go out there today, do you see tangible evidence that this is a, a smarter team, a more talented team, a better team? For sure. I, uh, we showed exceptional growth from day one last year to day one this year. Uh, you can just tell the guys the way we're moving the ball, the way the ball is getting spread around to all the guys. People know their assignment. Obviously, it's day one. We had a few hiccups, a few far stalls, a few penalties. But that's, that's just day one things. We're going to get better and better. Uh, but I was really pleased showing the the growth we have from day one this year to day one last year. What's RJ Sneed going to bring to the office on offense this year? RJ is going to be a guy that he play guy. He's going to make some touchdowns. He's going to be a playmaker for us. So a lot of your receivers from last year are gone. Who is kind of impressing you right now as you practice with these guys? Uh, I'd say all of them. Um, Jordan Tyson, Ty, Daniel, Breeze, Montana. The whole room. Coach McGagan has done an exceptional job with that, that entire room. We even got guys like Jack Estera. Mikey Harrison out there making plays. So I think McGagan is really, really raising the bar for that entire room. And I'm really excited about those guys. Anything else for B. Lou? All right, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.